Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another video. So today's video is quite overdue. Um, it is a follow-on from a video I made quite a while ago about all the different things that you want to be avoiding um, if you are somebody who is currently going through lip eczema, angular colitis, any kind of inflammation around the mouth. That list was quite long, so I now want to give you an example of a full day of eating of the things that you can and should have if you are trying or if you have chosen to heal yourself um, naturally. So I think that you have to be extra careful with the food that you are eating if you do have lip eczema. Uh, reason being is because it's not just about how it reacts in your body once you have digested it, but it is also about the contact you are getting with the foods as you are eating it. So you really need to be paying attention to the things that you are putting in and around your mouth. Oh my God, I cannot say that. <laughs> You really need to be paying attention to the foods that you are eating. And I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but I do have to say this because it's YouTube. If there are any allergies, any intolerances, skip it. Do not have it. I do not want any comments or messages being like, I had your recipe and I had a massive reaction now I'm in the hospital. Just skip it. Before we get going, I really appreciate it if you hit the like button. It really, really helps my channel. If you are somebody who does have lip eczema, and I know a lot of people have found my channel through my lip eczema videos. I really wanna hear from you how it's going uh, for you, if, it, if you've seen any improvements, do you need any other advice? Do you have any questions? Just drop them in the comments down below. I really like hearing from you guys. And if you haven't subscribed, obviously subscribe so you can see more videos about skin, hair and health. Uh, but for now, let's just get going with the video, breakfast first. all that much I really need to say about this breakfast. Oats are a really great skin food. They have loads of B vitamins in them. They also help to keep you full for longer, which is really important, especially if you have lep eczema, because it means that you'll be snacking less. And if you snack less, it means that you are leaving the skin around your mouth to heal and to rest. Really, really important. I've also got some berries in there. Berries are full of nutrients and antioxidants that are so, so, so good for your skin. And they are also very low sugar. I try to have them every single day. Finally, I added some chia seeds. Chia seeds are full of omega-3s. Omega-3s, a lot of people are deficient in, in their diet. It's a really easy and simple way to get some right at the beginning of your day. And the final thing about this meal that's really good is that it is very, very mild. It's not very strong. And I as you'll notice, the meals that we make today are all quite mild, and that is probably one of the most important things when you are trying to heal yourself from lip eczema. So yeah, that's it. Gonna enjoy my breakfast now. So it is now lunchtime, and for lunch, we are going to be making some refried curried black beans in a homemade tortilla wraps. So I think that sandwiches and wraps are great if you have got lip eczema or angular colitis because it is a very clean, a very easy, and a very simple meal. You obviously do not need to home make your tortilla wraps. I just kind of wanted to give it a go because the ones that I found in the supermarket here had like 20 ingredients when I feel like it should have four. So we're gonna give that a go now and then I'll talk you through the meal in a little bit more detail afterwards. Uh, but for now, let's get going. <laughs>
earlier that this is actually the first time I've made these wraps before. So it was definitely a bit of trial and error there. But two things I wanna mention is that firstly, you don't wanna fill the wrap too much because obviously if you stuff it with loads of stuff, that does make it quite messy. So the trick is to not have too much in terms of the filling and then also keep it as flat as you can. So with this one, as you can see, it's really, really flat. And that just means that you won't have to like open your mouth really wide to eat it. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna give this one a go. Oh, it's good. Let me just finish chewing. So in terms of the actual stuff I put in the wrap, so beans are amazingly good for you. Uh, they are really high in protein. They have loads of fiber loads of minerals and loads of nutrients that you really need when you are trying to support your own um, natural healing functions so i really highly recommend that you get beans in like every single day in some form did you know that the blue zone so the areas of the world where people um, are most likely to live to 100 nearly every single one of those populations actually every single one of those populations eats beans every single day and also i do try and include greens as much as possible so here I've got uh, kale, uh, but you can use spinach, you can use spring greens. Just make sure you get lots of greens, even if you are eating kind of cooked food. You wanna just keep it really, really clean as much as you can. And I do think that bread is, and different types of bread are a really good way to do that. So different types of sandwiches or wraps. They're also really easy to just make and take with you if you are a student or if you go to work. So that was lunch done. Um, I hope you enjoy that. <laughs> so I'll leave the recipe that I followed for the wraps down in the description box down below and I'll see you in a couple of hours. Do it again. <laughs> So it has been a few hours now and I'm feeling a little bit peckish. So let's have a quick chat now about snacks. So I went in my cupboard to see if I could pull out some examples of things that I would have if I was going through some lip eczema, the types of snacks that I would be going for. I think the main thing is bars. I do eat a lot of dried fruit and nut bars. Obviously some of them have more sugar than others and obviously most of them have some nuts. So if you have a nut allergy, you don't have them. But I think that these are really great. They're really convenient, they're really neat and they've got lots of fiber. So that is something I had quite a lot. I also did have quite a lot of rye bread. So toasted rye bread, either with some peanut butter or just some normal butter on top. That was a really good and quite filling snack. Another tip that I would really highly recommend is getting this, which is fruit purees. Now fruit purees are really really good because if you are like me and you have a bit of a sweet tooth and you don't want to have something sugary you want to have some fruit but fresh fruit can get quite messy and quite reactive fruit purees are a great workaround this is a swedish one um so something i picked up in ikea lol but you can find them in pretty much any supermarket if you can't find them in the actual jar section you know what i mean like they have like the cons conserves section baby food Every single supermarket will have baby food. Yeah, can recommend. So another thing I wanna mention is throughout the day, make sure you are staying hydrated, drink lots of water, lots of herbal teas, even normal tea, that's absolutely fine. And uh, yeah, that was it, snack ideas. I'll see you again soon for dinner. So it is now about time to make some supper um, and we're gonna make something super basic. I've got myself a nice reluctant helper here <laughs> yay um so yeah like i said we're gonna make something really really simple we're gonna be making some fried tofu with some honey and soy and then we're gonna have some steamed sweet potatoes as well next to it and then we're also gonna have some uh, brussels sprouts so Another thing you want to be thinking about is just keeping everything quite simple. You don't want to be overcomplicating things. Remember, uh, your body is doing a type of healing, so you don't want to be overburdening it with lots of complicated uh, meals and recipes. And also, this is really super easy and quick to do, and that's the kind of meal that I love to make. So, should we get going? Yep, let's do it. Okay.
all I'm waiting for all of this to finish cooking. Um, just a few more points. Another thing that's really good with sweet potato and tofu, as well as being super nutritious, all the things that your body loves and needs. Um, it's also very soft. So again, if you have like really bad sores um, around your mouth, then having something soft is quite good because it just means again that you don't have to open up really, really wide. Everything I made today is plant-based and that's the diet that I was on when I healed myself from eczema. So those are the kind of recipes that I revert back to whenever I go through like a bit of a flare. Sweet potato, really great, really nutritious food, has loads of vitamin A, which is really good for your skin. Watch my video on the best nutrients for reducing inflammation for more information around that. Yeah, I think it's almost ready by now. Good. Okay. Too hot? Two minutes. Two minutes. And voila, the meal is served. As you can see, the pieces are really, really small. You can make them as small as you need them to. Um, that goes with both the sweet potato and the tofu. There's actually silken tofu, but I recommend using a firm tofu because it is easier to fry. But yeah, that's it.